The Flash season four aired its finale last week and I know I'm late as fuck, but besides so much work that I had to do, this season was kind of very weak. I really had no eagerness to talk about it very much, but here I am. As always, we are going to talk full spoilers for The Flash Season 4, and here we go. So Flash Season 4, let's talk about the crossover first of all, because it was the best thing about the entire season, and it was the best crossover they ever had. I love this crossover. We have had crossovers before, but whereas the others felt like a team up or a special episode, this was an event. The scale was big, the scope was gigantic, it felt grand, it felt huge, it felt special that we saw all these characters come together for Iris and Barry's wedding and the villains were great and it was a simple formula Nazis you can get much simpler than that and you can't get much more effective than that and I love that we get snart back for legends and for one episode of the flesh and I love that we get the debut of Ray which I haven't seen the animated series for yet but I will this was certainly their best episode not only for their crossover episodes but for season four as i said because now we are going to get into the rest of season four and again starting off with the good which honestly there's not much of the thing i liked the most about this season of the flesh was when barry was in jail that was the most beautiful storytelling the flash had this season it was just great seeing barry cope with the fact that he has to save these inhumans even though they don't necessarily want to be saved by him. Seeing Barry being away from his family and his team, the people who give him strength, that is the best aspect of the Flash and him being in jail compromised that and I also love the friend he made in Goldberg from the WCW and the WWE and he was great acting wise as well which was surprising. The storyline they had going was great. Also great this season was Killer Frost and Amunet Black. I love that storyline and I love how they go about it in a very different way that I was expecting and even how they conclude their storyline is very well done. It was very unique, very original. The one thing I felt was missing in the storyline was the actual conclusion of it when we get to reveal that Killer Frost has always been there for Caitlyn and I think that was just a very dull ending for the storyline. Just leaving it open, you know, for the next season but then in the next couple episodes until the actual finale of the series they don't really talk about it much. I also love Harry and Cisco's relationship throughout the season and Harry's compromise about becoming less and less intelligent as the weeks proceeded. I adored to death the Council of Wells's, both Council of Wells's. They were just great and the dynamic between these two is just so good. It was the most interesting thing about the show. Ralph really grew on me. This guy started off in a place where I really just wanted him to leave the screen. I just wanted him to be out. Throughout the series he grows just like the writers clearly wanted him to grow and just like the Flash was trying to make him grow as a hero, as a person and he really did. As a character, as a person, he really really pulled me to his side eventually and I just adored this character and I wouldn't mind if we saw a mini series or something or a couple episodes next season focused on him as the star. And now we are going to the bad, because there is a lot of bad. Besides the prison episodes, I didn't give a shit about Iris, I didn't give a shit about Barry, I didn't give a shit about the relationship. Joe and Cecile are having a baby, and they had a baby, and guess what? We now have a baby on the show, because having babies on shows is always a good idea. And they kept hammering on this thing of, we are the flesh, and it's just so annoying, no! You both are not the Flash. Barry is the Flash. And they had this episode where Iris gains Barry's powers, which in execution, I actually enjoyed that episode. In its isolation, how they pulled that off, I enjoyed it. Did we need it at all? No, we didn't. It was completely unnecessary. It was just to give Iris a starring role. And you don't need that. You know why? Because look back in season one and season two, Iris is a character of her own. She is a journalist and she tried to go back into journalism in this season for like two episodes near the end. That is it. Iris has barely been a character. And look, I'm not trashing on Iris herself. I'm trashing on what they are doing with her character. They are giving her nothing. And Candace Patton, I believe that's the name of the actress, is doing nothing in this show because she is basically being the leader 
of the team while Barry is not there when she has no place being that. She is a journalist again. She's not a scientist. She's not a superhero besides that one episode. And it's just annoying how they are treating Iris in this show. You know what's also really important in a show to have a great villain and oh my god the thinker was not a good villain. It was boring. I'll grant you this, the episodes of the Trial of the Flash basically, those were mildly interesting because I wanted to see where they were going and they actually went to the prison which I enjoyed. But the villain himself is just so boring. His wife was boring. Him as a person, he was boring. His plan was boring as fuck and the most generic thing we've ever seen in these shows, in superhero movies, in anything. I did not give one squirt a piss about anything that was going on. Because yes, we know Barry the Flash is eventually going to win at the end of the season, but still keep me on edge. Keep me guessing how they are going to do it. Don't just let me think, yeah, they're going to win and I don't care how. I just know they are going to win. The majority of this season felt repetitive as hell. Each week it was, okay, DeVoe is going after this metahuman, we need to go after this metahuman before he does. And eventually DeVoe catches him or her. Next week, okay, DeVoe is going after this metahuman, so we need to go after this metahuman before DeVoe catches him or her. And at the end of the episode, DeVoe catches him or her. And again and again, rinse and repeat. It was the most boring season of The Flash by Far. And let's get to the actual finale of the season where they team up with his wife because she has regretted her ways because of course she has. And let's talk about how DeVoe just disappears at the finale. He's defeated but then he's not defeated but then oh wait turns out he actually was defeated and now we have a baby and now this girl who has been showing up throughout the entire season. I know this actress from Black Sails and at first we saw her as the server I believe in Barry and Iris's wedding. Hey Caitlin thanks for remembering because because Iris didn't fucking remember who served at her wedding, but she did, girl. Congratulations. And so she comes in, she is the daughter of Barry and Iris from the future, and apparently she has made a huge mistake because she helped out Barry in turning off the satellite or punching the satellite. I can't even remember. See, that's how underwhelming it was. And I'm guessing the big mistake she made was helping Barry, and if it wasn't, thanks so much for helping throughout the season, girl. You were the best. Because she paid for coffee, she paid for whatever else she paid for. She helped these guys out here and there throughout the season. Sprinkles of little helps and why weren't those a mistake? That's what I don't get. And if she is not the daughter of Joe and Cecile, who is? And what was the deal with all those powers if the baby is just going to be a baby for now? Because the baby is not going to just grow like that, which I actually hope it does because babies on shows are not a good idea. Flash season 4 felt like a complete boredom. The writers were bored, the characters felt bored, the storyline itself was repetitive, it felt like it was going nowhere at points. We had the most boring villain of all time, I felt like I wanted to sleep through episodes whenever he was on screen. My strongest feeling towards this season of The Flash is that I am glad it is over. I don't want to see any more of this season, let's move on. Arrow season 4 sucked, Arrow season 5 was really really good, so let's hope Flash season 5 follows the same path. I'm unfortunately going to have to give Flash season 4 due to its lackluster storytelling, boring villain and boring storyline, especially for the main characters, a Clark Gable. That's how bad it was guys. I was entertained by the stuff I liked, but the rest just made me want to go to sleep, and I don't like sleeping. But what did you think of The Flash season four, my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Do you think we're going to have a good villain next season? Do you think we're going to have a good season overall? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Finally, we're done with superhero shows for this year. Can't wait to see you on the next seasons, and I have many reviews coming this week. Can't wait to see you there. Stay tuned for my Jurassic Park and World reviews until the next one comes out. And so until then, you stay beautiful. You stay geeky, and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and the bell so you can be geeky united! <laughs>